Hello friends, in this video we are going to learn azimuthal quantum number. This quantum number is also known as orbital angular momentum or subsidiary quantum number. It provides an information about orbital. It is also represents a subshell or sublevel. Subshell or sublevel it means it is the sub portion of the main shell or principal shell. Each shell contains one or more subshells. Each azimuthal quantum number value represents a specific subshell. If the value of azimuthal quantum number is zero, then the notation used for this subshell is S. If the value is one, then we call it as a P subshell. If the value is two, then we call it as a D subshell. If the value is 3, then we call F as a subshell. Then another information that have been provided by azimuthal quantum number is about the shape of an orbital. So if the value of azimuthal quantum number is 0, then as I mentioned earlier, the notation for 0 value is S. It represents the spherical shape of the orbital. If the value is 1, it represents P orbital or P subshell. The shape of this P subshell is dumbbell shape. Then for azimuthal quantum number 2, the notation is D and the subshell represents the cross dumbbell shape. Then the azimuthal quantum number value 3 represents the F subshell whose shape is dispersed dumbbell shape. So let's see the relation between principal quantum number and azimuthal quantum number. If the value of principal quantum number is n, then the values for azimuthal quantum number ranges from the value 0 to n minus 1. Let's consider if you take the value of n is equal to 1 according to the formula of L is equal to 0 to n minus 1. It means the value of azimuthal quantum number ranges from 0 to n minus 1. According to this formula, the value of L can be calculated for this n is equal to 1 as 0 to the value of n is 1. Therefore, 1 minus 1 is equal to 0. That means only one value is possible for n is equal to 1 that is 0. So in this way we can calculate the azimuthal quantum number value for the given value of n. So if the value of n is equal to 2 then the value ranges according to the formula L is equal to 0 to 2 minus 1 is equal to 1 means value ranges from 0 to 1 it means L has value 0 and 1. So similarly we can calculate for n is equal to 3 the value of L according to the formula as mentioned above. So the value ranges from 0 to 3 minus 1 it gives value 2. It means the value of L ranges from 0 1 up to 2. So in this way we can calculate the value of azimuthal quantum number from the principal quantum number. Hence for principal quantum number 1 the azimuthal value is only 1 that is 0. For principal quantum number 2 there should be 2 values. So in this way we can calculate the azimuthal quantum number values from principal quantum number. Let's understand the notations that have been present in the given subshell values. So according to this formula we have calculated the value of azimuthal quantum number. So for n is equal to 1 as we have calculated only one value is possible that is 0 it represents S as a subshell. Principal quantum number is 2. 
then it has two values 0 that represents s subshell then 1 that represents p subshell then for 3 there are three values including s p d for four principal quantum number there should be four values and that presents the notation s p d and f total number of subshell in a shell are always equal to the principal quantum number as you see in both cases the values are same so let's see the presentation of quantum numbers so initially we have the principal quantum number that represents the value of n is equal to 1 n is equal to 2 n is equal to 3 we called it as a klm shell so let's consider only one shell that is m shell having principal quantum number is equal to 3 that m shell has subshell that have been calculated using this formula so we get three values 0 1 and 2 then 0 value represents s as a subshell 1 value represents p as a subshell and 2 value represents d as a subshell so in this way we can calculate the value of azimuthal quantum number and we can find the notation of the azimuthal quantum numbers thank you for watching this video